Hello Internet, welcome to another tutorial in the series of Network Analysis and Synthesis. We are discussing Z parameters in the series of two port networks. <coughs> now Z parameters are going to be um, a set of parameters uh, that are going to be impedance parameters so we'll have a set of parameters for example uh, impedance uh, with a subscript 1 1 then z1 2 z2 1 or z2 2 now please understand all these parameters are impedances so they will be ratios of v upon i so that's the first thing that we need to understand that all these Z parameters that we are going to find and we are going to define they will be ratios of, of V upon I now what's important is that when we define these Z parameters they'll also <coughs> define the uh, the ratio of uh, what voltage in the network to what current in the network so in other words if you're talking about Z11 which happens to be the input driving point impedance function so that will be the ratio of V1 upon I1 so if you look at this two port network a typical two port network uh, in this typical two port network we have just two voltages V1 and V2 and two currents I1 and I2 and all the possible permutation and combinations of the ratio of voltage to the current are going to be expressed as a set of parameters as a group of parameters known as Z parameters and they are open circuit impedance parameters uh, they will define the impedance of uh, the network uh, as is as a ratio of voltage to some current so th this is what we are going to do in this uh, tutorial uh, to start with uh, when we have this kind of a two port network we know that V1 uh, V2 are the voltages and they can be expressed in terms of input and output currents I1 and I2 as as this relationship like this so <clears throat> when we expand this we have a set of voltages and then we have a set of impedances which is very interesting to know that this uh, matrix becomes a 2 by 2 matrix Uh, with all the Z parameters inside it and Z is known as the impedance matrix right so <coughs> if I give this as equation number one we know that uh, this will give us V1 to be equivalent to Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2 and V2 equivalent to Z21 I1 plus Z22 I2 this is pretty simple Ohm's law expressed in terms of impedance matrix and then we expand that matrix to get these two equations we term them 2 and 3 <coughs> so so we'll take up equation number two here, uh, two and three here in this portion of the page, and we'll take up uh, another case. The first case, because these are open circuit impedance parameters. So what happens is when we when we keep the output terminal to be open circuited, then the effect of that would be. Uh, I2 is equivalent to 0 so in other words 
when output is kept open circuited then I2 essentially becomes 0 and sim simply putting I2 uh, is equivalent to 0 in these two equations we get uh, the first thing that we get is V1 is equivalent to uh, Z11 I1 and V2 is equivalent to Z21 I1 because I2 is 0 so this these two terms they go away and from here we get Z11 is equivalent to V1 upon I1 and Z21 is equivalent to V2 upon I1 now the better way of writing this is uh, we put a we put this ratio in square brackets and then we specify that this this is happening when I2 is kept equivalent to 0 and similarly uh, this is happening when I2 is kept equivalent to 0 so uh, now quickly uh, on this side of the page when we keep input uh, open circuited then I1 essentially becomes 0 so putting uh, this we get V1 is equivalent to Z1 to I2 and V2 is equivalent to Z2 to I2 which gives us Z1 to as the ratio of V1 upon I2 and Z2 to is equivalent to V2 upon I2 and this is happening when I1 is 0 so uh, if you look closely now uh, we've gotten the ratios of all the uh, impedances in the impedance matrix and the impedance the elements of impedance matrix uh, matrix are nothing but these at parameters as mentioned here so if if we go on to complete this set now Z12 is V1 upon I2 Z21 is V2 upon I1 and Z22 is V2 upon I2 and this by the way uh, the the impedance Z11 and Z22 are known as uh, input and output driving point impedance so this will be known as input driving point impedance so this is the technical name for that because uh, Z11 is the uh, ratio of the voltage at port 1 to the current at port 1 so everything is is related to port 1 so port 1 is input port by the way so this is the input driving point impedance function this is being driven to the network and similarly uh, this is the output driving point impedance so one rule of thumb uh, is that uh, the impedances 1, 1, 2, 2 or in case of multiple networks 3, 3 they'll be the driving point impedances they'll deal with the voltage uh, to the current ratio of the port itself that we're talking about on the other hand uh, Z12 and Z21 are known as reverse and forward impedances uh, so this is known as reverse I'm sorry this is known as reverse transfer 
impedance function and this is known as forward transfer impedance function <coughs> so z21 is going to be the ratio of the voltage at port 2 upon uh, the current at port 1 and that is why it is known as the forward transfer impedance function because mm, we are talking about the current which is being uh, being fed uh, into the network and the voltage uh, is the voltage in question is the output voltage and on the other hand uh, this is self-explanatory now this is reverse transfer impedance function because the current that we're talking about is the current at the output terminal to the voltage at the input terminal so this was the basic uh, definition of all the open circuit impedance parameters which is nothing but the impedance matrix in the in, in, in this equation which is nothing but the Ohm's law. Now if we go on to draw the equivalent circuit of uh, this two port network after having found the impedance parameters then this will look something like this. Now please understand the equivalent circuit is also a two port network with uh, V1 here at the input port and V2 here at the output port and this is by the way the impedance that we are talking about uh, the, the driving point impedances. The driving point impedances will, will be located right at the beginning of the port so port one uh, port one terminals they are directly connected to the driving point impedance function for port one in series and similarly port two uh, and finally we have z one to i two and z two one i one here now over here we have these the sources the voltage sources but they are current driven voltage sources please understand that this is a representation of a voltage source but at the same time this is important to understand that these voltage sources are current driven voltage sources and they also feature the impedance functions so this is what is known as the basic Z parameter equivalent circuit and uh, please understand the the very basic nature of the Z parameters is defined by this four set of impedances and no matter what kind of a two port network it is it could be a T network or a pi network we simply need, need to apply these rules uh, it does not matter if the network is a T type network or a pi type network we simply need to find out the value of the voltage at the input source and the voltage at the output we need to find the uh, current uh, generated by the input the current at the output and so on and so forth to find all the Z parameters so only four things are needed in order to find uh, these four parameters so I'll cover up the numerical examples in the next video where uh, I'll try to cover both numericals one from a T section two port network 
and another from a Pi uh, section a two port network and that will further clarify the things here and I hope this tutorial uh, on Z parameters which are more popularly known as open circuit impedance parameters was of some help if you like the video and other videos in the series then give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel you have a great day ahead and a good life ahead bye